Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in today's video, I can finally answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking ever since my amiibo video that showcased some of the classic costumes. And that is, can I get a green tunic in-game without using amiibo? And the answer is yes. To be clear, the green tunic I'm going to be talking about is different to the ones from the amiibo. Unfortunately, if you want them, like the Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker and classic ones, those you will need an amiibo. But, for those of you who just wanted to explore Hyrule in attire more fitting for a Zelda game, then there is another option. It'll take some time, but there is a way. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how. If you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and if you guys have any questions, then drop them down below. Also, let me know how you guys have been getting on with the game. Now, this right here is the Breath of the Wild tunic. Cap of the Wild, Tunic of the Wild, and Trousers of the Wild. It is the green tunic that's been created specifically for this game. And if you want to get it yourself, you're going to have to complete all 120 shrines. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said it wasn't going to be easy. Well, technically speaking, it is easy. The shrines aren't hard. It just takes a lot of time. Once you complete your 120th shrine, it doesn't matter which one is your last one. You can do it in any order you like. But once you complete the final one, the monk will then say you have at last conquered all of our trials. You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple. At this point, you'll then get a side quest called A Gift from the Monks. This will then have you return to the Forgotten Temple at the end of Tanagar Canyon. Now, if you've done all 120 shrines, then you'll already have a shrine you can teleport to right at the end of the temple. But if you guys need a reminder, the Forgotten Temple is the place with a bajillion guardians. Actually, a great place to go if you need guardian pots. Either way, head to the end or teleport, whatever you please, and then walk behind the shrine and you will see three chests. Each chest contains a piece of the armor. Open them up throw it on, and voila, you now look like a much more traditional hero. However, it gets better. See, unlike all the amiibo costumes that can't be dyed, and the champion tunic too, which is stuck in that iconic blue, this set can be. If you head over to the dye shop, you can see all the different colour options here. So, if you want to go for, say, red or blue, to relive some of those classic memories, you can. You could even go purple to support everyone's favourite Four Swords hero. But in truth, the one that I like the best is actually green, See, so if you dye it green, it makes it a much brighter, more vibrant green than the sort of washed out tone it was by default. But either way, if you want to dye it, you can. And also, for those of you guys curious, if you are looking to upgrade the set, you're going to need scales from the three dragons. So if you're not doing so already, then it might be worth shooting them anytime you see them around the world so you can start collecting scales. If you upgrade the set to level 2, you actually get an armor bonus that benefits the Master Sword specifically, so it's for sure worth your time. But either way, that's it. That, my friends, is how you get the green tunic in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.